Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So this video is about creating a coverage folder of your test cases in your React application. Also we'll learn how you create XML file for Sonar coverage report as well. And when you see in your pipeline, you get Sonar coverage results, Sonar reports as well. So for that as well, we'll learn how we create XML file which Sonar reads. So this is our basic React application. You see there's one file app.js and we have a test file as well, app.test.js. So by default, we have a test command in our project, which when we run npm run test, shows the test run. So it runs our application test cases and it just look out for test.js or test.jsx files which we create. So here you see one test is passed but there is no coverage folder as such is created here. So what we can do, there is a command which we can run to get a coverage folder. So the command to get a coverage folder along with the coverage is npm run test hyphen 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 coverage hyphen hyphen sorry it's three hyphen watch all so this will give coverage along with the coverage folder so here this is there's a new folder generated here coverage and in Elkov report you will get a index or html which when you will open, you will simply get the coverage. Now, uh, there are two main points here. One is to change the coverage folder name. How can we change this? For example, well, if my DevOps pipeline is integrated with a different coverage folder name, which it looks to return your just coverage. So, we will change the folder name using a script only. So let's create a script which will create a new folder with a different name than this coverage. So let's name it test coverage react script test coverage directory. Now this will be the coverage folder name coverage test coverage let's add coverage watch all equals to false so let's save it and run this script okay so there it is it created a new folder for test coverage name test hyphen coverage with the elcov.info file which is probably get read by our sonar reporter and in elcov reporter we have this index.html which gives you a better view of seeing how many test cases and which all lines are being covered in test cases through test cases in your files so the next step is to create an xml file for sonar to read it and then after your build pipeline get run it returns the coverage from the sonar reporter it also sends you the sonar smell report as well for that we need to install a package just sonar reporter i'll install it just sonar reporter So we've installed a package just sonar reporter now we have to pass this as a dependency to our script so that while creating test coverage just should know that it has to create an xml file son for sonar to read it so before adding dependency of just sonar in our script we have to add one more line of code here just sonar 
so it accepts three mainly three parameters so the three parameters are report path where here i'll define the path where which this file will be stored so i've defined it as test coverage slash sonar test coverage is our folder this test coverage folder then second is report file which is sonar mm, report dot xml let's say and third is indent so we want it to be indent by four spaces so we'll save it now we'll update our script and we'll add one more parameter to it that is test results processor which will be just sonar reporter we'll remove this space so let's run the script again and see if that xml file is generated oh sorry i ran the wrong script yeah this one you can do okay although the sonar xml report is generated so we can see that this xml file is generated here now what we can add here is we can first remove this test coverage folder the existing one and there is a spelling mistake here okay in fact spelling mistake here as well so yeah we can run it again so it will first remove the existing fold and then we'll create a new one yeah so the alcov report is as it is just a sonar folder is added and an xml file is added so it will show all the files uh, all the test cases file you say today we learned how to create a new folder a different folder name than the existing one for just coverage in react.js and how to create an xml file again and sonar xml file which will be used in our pipe devops pipeline while sonar is run on the devops server so thank you everyone please do share subscribe the channel thank you